In this video, we'll be seeing how to install Bunjs inside Windows. We'll have to use Windows Subsystem for Linux for this. You have to enable Windows Subsystem for Linux in Windows Features section. So hit the search and type Windows Features. Turn Windows Features on or off. Now select that. Scroll down and you can see Windows Subsystem for Linux. I have already enabled it. You can enable it and click OK. Now it will ask you to wait for some time and it will ask you to restart the system. You should restart the system after the process. Now after that, you have to go to the Windows Store. Now here you have to search for Ubuntu. I'm choosing the 20.0.4. Install it. Now you have to open it. You have to wait till the installation finishes. Now here it is asking for username and password for your Ubuntu system. Now the Ubuntu is installed. Now here you can install Bun.js and work with it. Let's create a folder for our project. I have created the folder using mkdir projects. Then I have navigated to the projects folder. Then I have again created the folder bun and navigated to bun. Now we are inside the folder projects slash bun. Okay. So let's open this inside Visual Studio Code. Type code space dot. Hit enter and it will open Visual Studio Code. Now we are inside the folder bun. Go back to the terminal. Now we have to install the bun.js. So go to the website bun.sh. Now copy this code and run it here. Now you can see it is saying that unzip is required. So we have to install unzip first. Now we have installed unzip sudo apt install unzip. Okay. Now let's run the command for installing bun.js again. See now it's installing. Now bun is available on the folder slash home slash username now dot bun slash bin again bun now we have to add this path for that let's copy this control c now we have to open this file inside an editor to add the path now we are opening this inside nano to make changes so make sure you are writing it properly like this don't add it like this okay we have to access it from the root directory and hit enter now we have opened the file can go to the bottom now you have to paste the path we have copied to paste you have to simply right click and it will paste it now click Control X, Y, and click Enter. Yes. Now it's saved. Now you can access uh, Bun from anywhere from the terminal. We are going back to VS Code and opening the terminal. Make sure you are not using PowerShell, etc. If you try to access it from PowerShell, you can see an error. See. So you have to go to this option and select Ubuntu version and WSL Windows subsystem for Linux you have to be inside this okay now here you can access bun see now you can access bun here so we have to create a file HTTP 
http.js now i am going to show a demo running this so let's go down and let's copy this and paste it here okay now we have copied a demo code from the website now let's run this for running we have to use bun run and the file name now you will be confused whether it is running or not yes it is running you have to check the port localhost colon 3000 okay since we are using the port 3000 here okay so it will be open on the port 3000 you can see here so hope you understand how to install bun js cli inside windows you have to enable the windows subsystem for linux inside the windows features option we can see windows subsystem for linux you have to enable it and restart the system after that you have to install ubuntu from the store and after installation you can create the projects as you like okay that's all to run you have to use bun run and the file name you can refer the documentation on their website for more details if you like this video you can let me know and we will create more videos about bun.js if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos